Shadow the Poodle loves his Hawaiian shirt almost as much as he loves getting his nails done. He's not the only one in need of a manicure today, but the neighbors will have to wait in line. A clip, a buff, and a brush are all part of the weekly pampering routine enjoyed by residents of the Stevenson Companion Animal Life Care Center. The center is, is really a part of the College of Veterinary Medicine here at Texas a and where we literally take care of people's pets, their companion animals, after they can no longer care for them in most cases. That would mean death, but uh, it can even in, include incapacitation for a prolonged period of time. Dr. Henry Presnell is a veteran veterinarian and director of the Stevenson Center, where lucky pets live out their days after their owner's days are done. Those who don't want to burden family or friends can count on Dr. Presnell and his staff to provide premium care to Fifi for the rest of her natural life. We literally go to their home or wherever the animals are and pick them up within a few days after you know, their death and start the process of integrating them into uh, our program here where they live out the rest of their life. People would think that animals living this life of luxury would be registered show dogs and stuff like that. We don't see them. Half of them are probably not even purebreds, and many of them are just little strays that somebody picked up and, and loved, and that's what really is, is baffling to a lot of people. Semi-private quarters, animal art on the walls, and a comfy bed in every nook and cranny. What more could our furry little friends ask for? Assistant to the director, Ellie Greenbaum, gave us a tour of this 8,300 square foot pet paradise. This is one of our cat rooms down on the newer end of the house. We have four male cats that live in this room. They just roam around and do what they want, don't they? They absolutely do. It's like being at home. It is their home. <laughs> But along with a full-time vet tech and animal caretaker, several students from the Texas A&M College of Veterinary Medicine live on site. Seems it takes a village to care for 21 cats, 15 dogs, and one not-so-dolly llama. This is a living area for the student apartment on this side of the house. We try to make it as comfortable and cozy as we can, and we want to encourage them to come out here to be with these guys when we're not. We want them out here with the pets cohabitating and loving each other and having a good time. Combining student housing with a pet retirement home means these ladies never have to study alone and Cricket never misses a good head scratching. But round the clock care comes at a price. We've all heard the story of the little old lady who dies and leaves a fortune to her lap dog. Well, these pups aren't millionaires, but enrollment isn't cheap. Endowments run in the tens of thousands of dollars. I think a lot of people don't understand the human companion animal bond, and I think therein lies the problem if they can't see why someone would do that. But you know, you have pets that are either children substitutes because their children are gone from home or they had no children at all, which is not always the case uh, in our program, but uh, you know it sounds like a lot of money to establish the endowments that we require. But uh, you know if they have no no place else to leave uh, their estate, this program is designed to meet that requirement. They need to understand that you know, an endowment's going to be created and it not only is supporting the care of their animal, but they can direct that the income from their endowment go towards other uh, endeavors here at the College of Veterinary Medicine if they so desire. All they have to do is, is to so designate, after my pet's gone, I want the income from my endowment to go towards a scholarship and that, that wish will be, will be honored. We're legally, morally, and ethically bound to, to carry that out. Enroll your beloved Fido at the Stevenson Center and then rest in peace knowing he will be well taken care of, that he'll be joining a big, happy family. And when his time comes, Fido will be missed and memorialized, just like Lovey, Mr. Jones, Blackie, Yummy, 
and all the others who've come and gone here at the Stevenson Center. What's all this here? These are our curios that contain the cremated remains of our babies who've come and gone. These are their names on their urns and the dates that they lived here with us at the center. This is our way of remembering them and we feel very honored and very fortunate to have taken care of these guys at the end of their lives. They were our kids. We loved them. We did. Don't we happy? We do. <laughs> The Stevenson Companion Animal Life Care Center isn't for everyone, but in the end, it comes down to a personal decision, to one person's will. For some, there is no real distinction between human and animal. They see only a friend in need. Well, whatever your opinion, remember this, money has certainly been spent in more frivolous pursuits than the humane care of living creatures. Why would a person give their money for an animal to live out its days here? Probably number one, because they love their animal, they want to make sure it's cared for it, and they will have the ultimate in veterinary care while they live out their life here. And we're 500 yards from the finest, we think, veterinary teaching hospital in the country, probably in the world, and the cost of that care will never be a concern. 